Our Portland Trail Blazers are back in the Western Conference Finals for a second straight season. We're hoping for a different result, though. After losing in six games last year to the Sacramento Kings, we get our opportunity at revenge. Today, we've got games one and two at home against Sacramento. Last episode, we wrapped up the second round against the Jazz, and of course, after losing the first two games and benching Kristaps Porzingis for not trying, we have gone on to win four games in a row, three of which were on the road. The storyline going into the last episode was the Game 4 injury to rookie sensor City Gafare, who had not looked like an ordinary rookie for the Utah Jazz. That started with a Game 5 win, 133-127. Our core four combined for over 100 points, and our team shot the three ball unbelievably well in the first half. As for the Jazz, Cassius Maxi got injured in the second half, so they were without him and Gafare in Game 6, and they nearly won. Darius Sprenger hurt his ankle in the fourth quarter, had to miss a few minutes, but came back and led the comeback on one leg. Tyson Ledbetter did his best to carry the scoring load for the Jazz, but their injuries were too much for them to overcome, and we are here in the Western Conference Finals. But we've got some questions and storylines to follow, including Darius Springer, who is nursing a twisted right ankle. He was able to play through the injury down the stretch against the Jazz, and he really didn't look like he lost much of the beat. The other question mark we have is with Kristaps Porzingis, who, of course, has not played the last four games against Utah, all four of which we won. And that's because of how poorly he played in the first two games against the Jazz. Game one, he was horrific, going 0 for 7 from the field. And then game two, he wasn't even trying. He was letting up easy buckets. He wasn't giving us anything offensively. He was minus 21 in 11 minutes in a game that we lost by one. That's how bad he was. But I think over these past few games, he's gotten to clear his head or whatever and I think we're going to bring him back for this series against Sacramento. We're going to ease him in. He's going to come off the bench here in Game 1. Hopefully it'll be like Chris Depps is coming off the bench in real life in the NBA Finals for the Celtics. Because my goodness, he looks good. We're going to need him on the field. We don't play on a field. This is basketball. We're going to need him on the court because of the size challenges that Sacramento brings to the table. Since the very start of the season, it's been very clear that us and the Kings are a tier ahead of everybody else in the NBA. If we were able to get out at the first two rounds of the playoffs, I knew it was going to be the Kings who we'd get in the Western Conference Finals, and that's exactly how it's played out. Both teams have steamrolled their way through the playoffs so far, as we're both 8-2 and two through the first two rounds. If we compare this series to the one we had last year in the Western Conference Finals with Sacramento, I think both teams are in better shape now. Last year, Amel Wright, Midnight Hopkins, and Joel Embiid were all banged up. This year, they're all healthy, along with Jaden Prospero and Apollo Cohn, taking another year of development under their wing. That's not to mention the veteran addition of Jimmy Butler, who was acquired at the trade deadline and I think really rounds out this team well. The Kings are an unbelievably deep team who have nine players above 80 overall. The scoring is led by Midnight Hopkins and Amel Wright. Whenever we've played against the Kings, Wright has been a dangerous shot creator, and I think he's their biggest threat who we have to worry about. Hopkins, though, has turned into the best player on this team. He led all players in the NBA this year in plus-minus, which it's worth noting that the entire top 10 is occupied by players on either the Kings or the Blazers. The scoring has been a lot more balanced for them in the playoffs with Joel Embiid taking a leap up. Jaden Prospero has been ultra efficient. And obviously the addition of Jimmy Butler has been a very good one for them as well. And again, the biggest thing for them is that they are fully healthy. Last year they were hobbling into the Western Conference Finals and they still beat us with Joel Embiid and Amel Wright limping around. Midnight Hopkins was a complete non-factor in the Western Conference Finals last year. He probably averaged single-digit points per game during those matchups. So the Kings are in much better shape than they were last year, but so are we. Darius Springer went from a young all-star into the MVP. Khalil Griffin has taken an ultra-big leap. Shaden Sharp and Scoot Henderson have another year under their belts. And unlike last season, we are pretty much fully healthy as well. Springer is still nursing the ankle injury, but obviously he's going to give it a go as Ashton Wisham wins the tip. We're underway. 
Here in game one of the Western Conference Finals between the Blazers and the Kings. Portland playing hot potato early. Scoot Henderson step back. That one is good. And it's Scoot Henderson getting the scoring started for the Blazers. Over to Khalil Griffin on the drive. Layup and the foul. It's an and one. And Joel Embiid is called for the foul. 5-2. Cone gets it over to Jaden Prospero on the drive. That one is no good. But Embiid is there with the putback slam. This Kings front court is dynamic. Apollo Cone is one of the most improved players in the NBA this year. As Wisham is there with the snuff on Amel Wright. Springer, crossover, lobs it for Sharp with the poster. What a play on both ends by Portland as Sharp throws down the hammer on Midnight Hopkins, telling him good night. Is it 7-4? Prospero with it, lobs it up, and the Kings get a lob of their own. It's Hopkins who throws down the alley-oop, saying what you can do, I can do better. Amel Wright, pump fake for three, that one falls. Wright, one of the best young shot creators in our league, is on the board of the triple. Prospero trapped inside, gets it over to Cone who makes the layup. As I was alluding to earlier, Cone has been so impressive this year, averaging around 19, nine, and eight assists. He's a dynamic passer at his size. Griffin knocks down the triple, two for two from the field, which is obviously Certainly a good sight to see with his efficiency struggles for his standards so far here in the playoffs. Midnight Hopkins gets a three right back. It's 14 to 10. Darius Springer on the drive. Layup is no good. Grabs his own miss and is there with the putback doing the dirty work as he's on the board for the first time today. Here's Griffin with the pump fake. Crossover. Drive. Layup is good. Nice play there by Khalil Griffin. He's got over half of Portland's points so far. 18-16, Prospero, spin move, and the layup is good for the fourth year guard out of Texas. 20 to 16 now, Abaji snuffed at the rim. What a play by Hopkins. It goes right over to Springer though, and he is in for the layup. That was a good fake on the wing to fool Hopkins, and he sends it for the contested finish. Now he's guarded by Mel Wright. That's a mismatch leading to Prospero sending help, and Lillard's wide open. Very smart play there by Springer and a good shot by Damian Lillard. But Midnight Hopkins gets one right back. This very clearly is not the same Midnight Hopkins from the Western Conference Finals last year if you weren't able to tell. Prospero inside with the and one. Scoot Henderson called for the foul, does not like the call. 28-21, a football score. And look who's in the game, it's Porzingis. Sets a strong screen for a budgie and the jumper is good. Porzingis getting his first minutes since game two. Uh, the previous round as Griffin misses the layup. Jaden McDaniels with the rebound. He gets it over to Prospero in the corner. Right for three. That one is good. Sacramento just has so much firepower. Even with Wright and Hopkins being the go-to scorers, they have so many other players who can create their own shot. As Sharp misses the dunk. Porzingis has it fall right into his hands. And Chris Depps Porzingis is there with the layup. Good play. 31-25. Here comes Kamari White for three. That one's good. The former undrafted free agent has found a home here with Sacramento's second unit as Wright is there with the fake. Jumper, that one's good, and the Kings lead by a dozen. Sacramento starting a little bit of a run, taking advantage of the extra rest they had compared to Portland after the last round. Porzingis misses the open three, and Sacramento's going to get one more possession. Amel Wright knocks down the top of the key three. 15-point lead for the Kings here in the first. Jaden Sharp with it with just seconds to go. Looking for the screen from Griffin. Sharp, three, at the buzzer. That one is no good. A disastrous end of the first quarter for Portland, who's down by 15 points. Sacramento's second unit is one of the few teams who can match with Portland's depth because of all the great defenders. Jimmy Butler, Davion Mitchell, Jaden McDaniels all coming off the same bench unit is scary. Darius Springer there with the layup, 40 to 27. Jumper no good, nice defense by Portland. Sharp out to Springer. Jumper in transition is good, and after only scoring four points in the first quarter, Springer gets the first four in the second. Apollo Cohn guarded by Marvin Bagley. Cohn with a nice move, and that one is good. Not a whole lot Bagley can do. Cohn is just really big and is so athletically gifted at his size. Here's Prospero for three, that one's good. 
Jaden Prospero has always been one of the best passers in the league since he got drafted, but his scoring has really improved over the last few years as Sharp is able to hold on to it. Seconds left on the shot clock. Sharp, jumper, no good. That was a pitiful possession. Portland's offense has been a disaster recently. And Shaden Sharp is 1 for 10 today. He is shooting a tour day as the lob is unsuccessful. Here comes Portland. Scoot Henderson, wide open, 3. Brick. The Blazers are shooting barely 30% as a team from the field. I mean, it has been a disaster offensively as Amel Wright hits the jumper and the Kings are back up by 15 points. Sacramento's offense hasn't even been that good in the second quarter, but it hasn't mattered as Khalil Griffin is in with the slam. Griffin's the one guy who I feel like has shown up today offensively, which, again, his efficiency has been a concern throughout the playoffs. He's the only guy shooting above 50% right now. Scoot Henderson with a nice move inside for the layup. Portland's starting to get some shots together at least as it's 49-36. Springer, crossover, looking to send it inside for Griffin. Did he just airball a shot within five feet of the basket? Stevie Wonder could have hit the rim. Darius Springer steals it. He gets it over to Abaji. Pump fake on the drive. Layup is no good. Jesus Christ, this offense has been pathetic. What am I watching right now? Here is Springer with it. He has a double-double, at least, on the drive. Has the mismatch, and he misses! Nobody can do anything right now offensively. Everybody has the yips. As Scoot Henderson is there with the dunk, wide open lane. The only way Portland is going to score is if the Kings just choose not to guard them. Springer on the drive. He's in with the slam. That's a nice play off the dribble. And Portland's been able to keep this a game because their defense has been much better here in the second quarter. Hopkins, though, is able to get by Springer pretty easily. Springer's mobility obviously very clearly affected with the ankle injury as he sets the screen here for Porzingis. His jumper is good, and Chris Stapp's Porzingis is back on the board. If you're looking for a positive, he's been pretty good, but right as I say that, he falls asleep on defense. Now, luckily, the Kings missed the shot, and Portland's able to run the break as Springer has a great pass for a budgie with a heavily contested layup. Great play there by Ochai, and the lead is within nine. The Kings are daring Shade and Sharp to shoot, and the pass leads to a turnover. Sharp still with just two points, as Amel Wright's layup is no good. Springer with the rebound, his 11th. Springer, crossover, looking to take advantage of the matchup with Wright. He gets it to Porzingis, behind the back pass for Springer, and he's looking to back down. Could this lead to a double? Cone sends help. Griffin, open three. You've got to be kidding me. These guys aren't even making open shots. That's the type of day it has been for the Portland offense. Here's Prospero with it with just seconds to go at the buzzer, and it's good. 59-48. Lillard's going to throw this one up. And speaking of throwing up, that is exactly what I want to do after watching the last 20 minutes of this offense. I mean, my goodness, has this been a pathetic effort on that end of the floor. The Pistons, by the way, won game one on the road at the Garden, so they lead the Eastern Conference Finals 1-0. And we're in danger of falling 1-0 in the Western Conference Finals if the offense doesn't wake up. We're shooting less than 40% from the field right now. The only player shooting at least 50% right now is Kristaps Porzingis. Who would have thought? Defensively, I thought we did really well in that second quarter. We weren't letting them get as open on the perimeter. We were altering their shots inside. But it didn't matter because the offense was so bad. Into the third quarter, Springer with the slam. Looking to try to take over this game. He had 16 and 12 in the first half, albeit an inefficient 16. But everybody's been inefficient. Here's Hopkins with it, looking for the screen. Gets it to Embiid inside for Cone. Jumper is no good. Nice defense by Khalil Griffin. And he looks to run the floor here for Portland. Griffin, wide open lane. Too easy! Khalil Griffin! Is in with the athletic throwdown, putting some extracurricular there on the rim. Griffin loses it, though, on the following possession. Hopkins ends up with the steal over to Amel Wright. Right inside, pump fake, and he's intercepted by Scoot Henderson. Sharp out to Griffin. Hopkins quickly retreats back defensively, and the Blazers are going to have to reset. Scoot Henderson on the drive has Springer open, corner three. Bang! Big shot for Portland in a night where they've really struggled to shoot the three ball less than 30% and to get that one to go. But Apollo Cone is right back with an and one. And Porzingis is called for the foul. 
63-55 now. Griffin on the drive. That one is no good. Gets his own miss, though. Pump fake over to Logan. Jumper is good. A really smart play there by Khalil Griffin, and we've seen his IQ and his instincts really take note here in the playoffs as he blocks out the defenders from getting in the passing lane. Apollo Cone drills for three. Springer daring him to shoot, looking to double the ball handler, and it backfires. 11-point lead. Lillard inside for Springer, who makes a nice backdoor cut. 23 and 14 now for Springer, who's in takeover mode. Lillard off the screen. Jumper no good. Springer with another rebound. Out to Logan for three. And that one is good. Zay Logan connects from beyond the arc. 68-62. Prospero for three. And that one falls. Both offenses finally getting them a little bit of a rhythm. They have each look quite a bit better here in the second half. Here's Springer, blocked by Cone, what a play! Apollo Cone was late to react there defensively, but he has such long arms, he's able to compensate for it, and his ability to run the floor leads to him getting an easy basket. 73-62, Sharp inside for Abaji, whoop! Has Hopkins flying, and is there with the layup. What a fake by Ojai Abaji. Here's Prospero, floater is good, and the lead sits at 11. Prospero's been pretty inefficient today, 6 of 15, but has still been overall effective on both ends. Springer with the drive layup is good. He's up to 27 points. And again, the ankle really doesn't seem to be altering his game as he's been the only guy who has been good today. And he won't stop now. In for the lefty slam as he soars inside, playing above the rim. 29 for Springer with three to go in the third, and it's a five-point game. Portland's making some noise on this lead. Right as I say that, Jimmy Butler wide open on the corner, and he hits the three. Butler's not a great three-point shooter. Springer dares him, and it backfires as Lillard is there with this steal. On the other end, Abaji for Porzingis! Great ball movement by Portland. Good dunk by Chris Stapps, who I feel overall has been pretty good for the most part today. He's there with the contest, doesn't matter. Jimmy Butler makes an incredible shot, and the Blazers call timeout down by eight with a little over a minute to go in the quarter. Springer finds the mismatch. It's Jimmy Butler. Layup is no good. Grabs his own miss, and Springer is there with the foul, continuing to do all the little things. He has 18 rebounds today. Would make both three throws. Pump fake. Three. Off the mark. Scoot Henderson unable to get the rebound, and here comes the Kings. And Mel Wright for three. Big shot. For Sacramento, it was a quiet third quarter for Wright, but I imagine they're going to have him in pretty much the entire fourth. Shot no good, another rebound for Springer, and Griffin doesn't get it off in time. I don't think he realized the clock was that far ahead. That'll wrap up the third quarter. Portland is continuing to hang in there, but Sacramento keeps control. They lead 82-74 as we move into the fourth. Prospero to Wright, pump fake, seconds left on the shot clock. White is wide open, he hits the jumper. You can't fall to right at the end of the defensive possession there. That's on Zay Logan. He's got to make that play. Here's Springer, top of the key. Three is good. He's up to 34 points. He is almost half of Portland scoring today. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because he's playing well, but nobody else is. Amel Wright off the screen. Open three is good. Amel Wright is basically the off-ball version of Tyson Ledbetter from the Jazz in the last series. His ability to get open and score consistently from three is special. As there's Lillard in for the slam. Even at 37 years old, he can still get up there. Still an eight point game, under eight to go. Apollo Cohn, what a move! And he is in with the layup, showing off his impressive handle. Lillard on the screen, drives inside, looking for the pick and roll. Springer sends it to the corner for Abaji. Kings don't bite. Great defensive possession there by Sacramento. And Wright is able to push Springer out of the way for the rebound. What a possession by the Kings, and in transition, they get the and one with Jaden Prospero, and it's Griffin going for the foul. 13-point lead here for the Kings. Sharp still has two points as he gets it over to Springer. This time, the Kings do bite, and Springer's in for the slam. He's got 36. Jaden Sharp, by the way, has not shot the ball since the second quarter. Remember when I said he was 1 for 10? Well, he is still 1 for 10. He hasn't missed since then. Off of the Sacramento miss, here's Khalil Griffin with it, guarded by Davion Mitchell. That's a mismatch, but Mitchell's a great defender. He nearly gets the steal. Griffin with a nice recovery out to Porzingis. He gets it to Springer. Springer looking for the screen. Just five seconds left on the shot clock. He's matched up with Mitchell. And again, that's a mismatch! And one! 
What a play by Springer who basically throws it up and it falls. After making the three throw, he has 38-19 as Griffin grabs the miss, his 10th rebound. Springer, transition three, is good! 42 on one leg for Darius Springer. The lead is within seven. Amel Wright fakes out sharp. He's in for the dunk, showing off his ability to score inside the arc as well. Nine point lead, four and a half to go. Sharp layup and the foul. And in one for Shannon Sharp, who scores for the first time since the opening minutes of the first quarter. It's a six point game, 96 to 90. If Portland wants to start their rally, now's the time to do it. And that's not a good way to start. Hopkins is there with the layup. Eight point lead. Scoot Henderson on the drive. Wide open lane, punches it home. He's got 10 and eight. It's been overall a fairly quiet and inefficient game for Scoot as Griffin misses. It's been a quiet second half for Griffin. He was really good early in this game, but only has two points on bad shooting since halftime. As Apollo Cone makes the layup and draws the foul. A huge play for the French big man. Logan with the foul, it's a nine point game. Porzingis back in at the five. He gets the screen for Springer, and he is blocked! It's Joel Embiid with the snuff. Off the inbound, Springer loses it. Cone rips it away on the other end. Prospero with it, guarded by Springer. Three ball, bang! Kings up by a dozen with under three to go. Cone guarded by Springer. This is a huge possession. Portland cannot afford to let up a basket as Hopkins is blocked by Porzingis with only three to go on the shot clock. Cone sends it to Prospero. Jumper is off the mark. Good defense by the Blazers. Porzingis with the rebound is 12th. He gets it over to Shaden Sharp. Open lane, layup is no good. Another miss for Shaden Sharp. He's had a lot of those tonight. Still a 12 point game with a little over two to go. And Beads three is good. And Sacramento's up by 15. Portland now needs a real miracle. Springer with 42 points on the drive. He's guarded by Prospero. That's a mismatch. And he will look to exploit that as he is up to 44 points on the day. Portland already running the press. Kings get by it pretty easily. Prospero takes it himself over to Apollo Cone. He gets it to Hopkins. Hopkins to right. Top of the key three is good. Another triple for the Kings. They're up by 16. Springer on the drive, pump fake. He's trapped in the corner for Khalil Griffin. Griffin with the screen. Mid-range jumper is smooth like silk. Still a 14 point game though, gotta move fast. Gotta start forcing some turnovers. Can't let the Kings chew all this clock. Right over to Prospero, nice dribble move. Prospero is out of bounds. Okay, there's something. Now you gotta score. Portland would go to the line with Springer. He would make one. 13 point game, Embiid hands it off for Midnight Hopkins. Seconds on the shot clock, Hopkins three, no good. Ball is tipped, rebounded by Griffin and Embiid is hurt. Here's Springer, open three. That one's good, 48 points for Darius Springer. And Sacramento now has an injured Joel Embiid who is gonna be taken out of the game. Prospero layup is good. The Kings are up by a dozen with around 40 seconds left. I think this game is just about good as over. Springer's going to start throwing up some shots. That one is no good. Cohn with the rebound. He gets it over to Butler. Right. Corner three. Dagger talk. 15-point lead for Sacramento. And with seconds to go, Portland's going to get one more look. Springer looking for 50. He is blocked at the rim by Cohn, and this game is over. The Sacramento Kings win game one of the Western Conference Finals on the road. 116-100, and they did it with stifling defense. The game plan for the Kings was Darius Springer is a superstar. He's going to get his, but don't let everybody else beat you. And, well, everybody else combined for 52 points. A completely pathetic effort by everybody not named Darius Springer, who had 48-19 and 19 on one leg. In a game that we lost by 16, he was minus four in 36 minutes, which means in the four minutes he was out of the game, we were outscored by 12. Darius Springer's awesome, but everybody else needs to do their part, and that did not happen today. Khalil Griffin shot the ball horribly in the second half. 
Scoot Henderson, underwhelming. Shaden Sharp, 2 for 13 and 0 for 4 from deep. Chris Knapps Przingis wasn't half bad. He was probably our second best player today, unironically. But again, outside of Darius Springer, the offense was abysmal. The ball movement was bad. The shooting was bad. Everything was bad. Amel Wright had 35, 25 for Prospero. Embiid only had five points, and obviously his injury will be a storyline going into game two. But got to give credit where credit's due. The Kings' defense was unbelievable. They really didn't have that good of the game offensively, in my opinion, other than Amel Wright getting a bunch of open looks from three. But it didn't matter because defensively they were so stout. This is one of the best defensive teams in the NBA, and we saw exactly why. So Embiid strained his hip. It's going to linger for the rest of the season, but it is something he can play through. Embiid had a strained hip last year in the Western Conference Finals, so he is no stranger to this. I did some digging to figure out the impact of this team when Darius Springer is on the floor versus when he's off the floor, and the results are quite interesting. We have a plus-minus of 8.8 .8 in the playoffs. Darius Springer's plus-minus is 13.7. Nobody else on the team has even half of that number. He's played in 33 and a half minutes per game here in the playoffs, and since the start of the second round, that number is more like 36 minutes per game. In the six and a half minutes per game that he has sat in the postseason, we are being outscored by around a point per minute. That is abysmal. That means we are relying on Darius Springer too much, and two things are going to change. One, he might have to play the whole game. It's not ideal, but... We are losing when he is off the floor. So in other words, we can't take him off the floor. We're also going to need the other stars on this team to step up because Darius Springer can't do it alone. I'm calling out these three. Scoot Henderson, Shaden Sharp, and Khalil Griffin. We need more out of these guys. Scoot Henderson has been too inconsistent throughout the playoffs. Shaden Sharp has had some really good scoring games, but then he has games against the Kings where he's useless. And then Khalil Griffin, I think overall, has been our second best player in the playoffs. But his efficiency has not been good. And this is the most efficient scorer in the NBA we're talking about. Khalil Griffin led the league in true shooting this year. Having a below average true shooting in the playoffs is not good. We need those three guys to produce for us because Darius Springer cannot do it all himself. He did it all himself in game one and we still lost by nearly 20. With Lillard and Springer now fully healthy, the injury report is empty for the first time since like the second game of the regular season. We've been able to stay very healthy during the playoffs this year for the most part, but we've had a couple nagging injuries here or there. Right now, everybody's healthy, which means there is no excuse not to win this game. Sure, we came back down 2-0 in the previous round against the Jazz, but you got to keep in mind, the Jazz lost two of their three or four best players to injury. And the Kings are not the Jazz. The Kings are a whole lot better. The Kings have been there, done that. They beat us last year in the Western Conference Finals. They wouldn't let us come back down 2-0. Chris Daps Porzingis, by the way, has moved into the starting lineup. I think he's earned the opportunity to play with the ones. And we're going to slimmer down the rotation. Instead of playing 11 guys, we're going to play maybe 8 or 9 that way the best players are on the floor more as Hopkins is there with the early slam off the assist by Jaden Prospero. Portland's offense has got to get moving quickly. Here's Sharp inside, layup is good. The goal I have for this game is for Darius Springer not to be the leading scorer. He has led the team in scoring, I think, in every playoff game so far. That's not sustainable. Somebody else, even just one guy, needs to step up scoring-wise. Nice layup to make it 4-3 to three as the shot from Springer is no good, but Shaden Sharp is there with the putback. And after going 2-for-13 in the last game, Shaden Sharp is 2-for-2 two two today. Progress as it's 5-4 right inside. That one is good off the glass. Both teams looking to attack the paint early. Joel Embiid playing through the hip injury for what it's worth as here is Springer off the screen for 3. Just because I don't want Darius Springer scoring 50 again doesn't mean he won't carry the offensive load as the ball handler and the primary scorer as Amel Wright connects on the triple and it's 9-8. Scoot Henderson looking for the screen from Porzingis. Henderson lobs it up for Chris Tapps, who is in with the layup and it's 10-9. Another overall sluggish offensive start as Sacramento has to steal its cone and Prospero on the other end misses the layup. Good defense by Scoot Henderson. He's got a couple assists so far looking for another Darius Springer, two for two. 
from beyond the arc, and it's 13 to nine. Prospero on the drive, layup, and the foul, and and one. Scoot Henderson called for the foul, and it's 13 to 12. Here is Hopkins inside for MB. Look at the mismatch with Scoot. Gets it to Hopkins, who's fouled on the three. Darius, I get you're the MVP, but number one rule of defense, don't foul the jump shooter. Hopkins would make two of three from deep. This time he does not get touched, and this time he'll hit the triple. 17-13, Springer with it, looking for the screen, nearly a backcourt, as he sends it inside for Zay Logan on the pick and roll, and Logan is there with the dunk. 17-15 now, Hopkins on the wing, guarded by Abadji. Quick start for Hopkins, he's been great tonight as he throws it down on Lillard. A monstrous slam for Midnight Hopkins. Lillard in the corner for Sharp, back to Lillard, back to Sharp. On the drive, layup is good. Nice play by Shane and Sharp, who has been very good so far. We called on him to step up. So far, he is. Prospero with the lob. It's tipped in by Midnight Hopkins, who's been the best player on the floor so far. 21 to 11. Lillard, pick and pop. Gets it to Logan in the corner for three. It was supposed to be Springer who was open, but that works too. 21 to 20 now. Jimmy Butler with it. Gets by Springer. Springer's not hobbling on one leg. He doesn't have an excuse for that anymore. As Midnight Hopkins gets two more points. He's already got 15 of Sacramento's 23. Springer on the drive. Has Sharp open in the corner. He drills the three. Jaden Sharp with nine. We're tied with around a minute to go in the quarter in what has been another low-scoring start. Mitchell, a prayer, and it's answered. I did not know Davion Mitchell had that in his game. 28-24, Logan scores with seconds to go here in the first. And they'll right now with it for Sacramento. Looking to get a last-second shot for three. Bang! When in doubt, give the ball to Amel Wright because he's going to make a play. Logan's shot at the end of the quarter is not off in time. He airballs it anyway. 31-26, Kings lead by five. Another inefficient start for Portland. The Blazers are four for seven from three, but they are five for 17 from two. Darius Springer is two for 10 so far, and because of that, he's gonna sit to start this second as Scoot Henderson is in with the dunk. 33-28, Davion Mitchell with it, looking to get open. Mitchell off the screen, buries another triple, and it's an eight point game. Here is Porzingis with it, gets it over to Griffin in the corner. Griffin with it, mid-range jumper is good. Khalil Griffin has not missed a shot yet from the field. That's his first attempt, he's one for one. He did miss a three throw earlier, but he hasn't been inefficient so far because he's not shooting the ball. Mitchell, another three! As he is slow to get up, grabbing at his ankle, but Davion Mitchell, my goodness, he is hot! Scoot Henderson is blocked by Cone, and Sacramento's gonna call time, get Mitchell off the floor. It's been a two-man show for the Kings of Mitchell and Hopkins, but they have been producing as Griffin is there with the Euro step. He's now two for two tonight. 39-34. Both offenses looking good early here in the second. Amel Wright off the screen for three. That one falls. Springer, by the way, back in the game after going 0 for 6 from 2 in the first. As here is Caleb Marsh. Gets it over to Springer. Has the mismatch with Wright and is in with the floater. His first two-point field goal of the game. 42-36 now, Amel right with it for Sacramento. You cannot give him space, he will make you pay. Another triple for Wright, he's starting to heat up here in the second. Nine point game. Griffin with it on the drive, has Springer wide open. They're not gonna guard him, which is foolish. Springer has shot over 50% from deep in the playoffs. His three point shooting has been on another planet. As Cone misses the triple, here comes Portland on the break. Khalil Griffin with it on the drive, and Griffin still has not missed. He's up to seven points. This is the Khalil Griffin we all know and love, the most efficient scorer in basketball. Hopkins guarded by the rookie Marsh inside. Throws it up at the end of the shot clock, and it's good. That was nice defense by Caleb Marsh, but Midnight Hopkins is just a little bit too good. Jimmy Butler with it on the drive. Floater is good. Look at the bottom right, by the way. Davion Mitchell, twisted ankle. The same injury that Springer just got against Utah. So it shouldn't be anything too serious. And speaking of Springer, he's in with the layup, starting to look better from inside the arc. And the Blazers' offense as a whole is really starting to look better. They're only down by two. Here's Jimmy Butler with it. Nice move, the fadeaway is good. Lead is up to four. Springer leads the fast break. Here's Sharp, open three. That one's good. Actually, there was really a quick contest there. He still drills the shot. 
51-50. Springer crossover for the lead. That was a nasty move on Jimmy Butler, who's 38 years old, and he looked the part of 38 on that possession. Blazers now up for the first time since the first quarter. Scoot Henderson layup. That one is good. Scoot Henderson's been pretty solid. Eight points, four assists. He's been efficient. Griffin passes out of the shot over to Scoot Henderson, who hits the long two. I said Scoot, Sharp, and Griffin needed to step up. All three of them have played quite well here in the first half as Scoot misses the layup right as I'm gassing him up. And here comes Sacramento on the other end. Amel right on the drive. Throws it up and in. Slinging himself off of Ochai Abaji. Shot is no good. That was Abaji with the jumper. And here comes Sacramento with seconds left here in the half. Prospero with it on the drive. It's stripped away by Scoot. Out to Porzingis. Hurls it up at the buzzer. And he got it! Chris Tepps Porzingis launches it from 70 feet out. And he nails it. That'll wrap up the first half. 59-53. We got to look at that last play again. There's no doubt he got the ball out because he threw it, as you can see here, with a good second left on the clock. He could have gotten closer. That was honestly not a very good play by Porzingis. He shouldn't have thrown it up that fast, but he made it, so that's fine. He looked like Puma Whitlock throwing the ball there. A huge boost of momentum to end the first half. Blazers up by six, their biggest lead of the night. Pistons, by the way, lead the Knicks 2-0, taking... Two on the road. I said, despite being the lower seed last episode, the Pistons are my pick to make it out of the East, and so far that's aging pretty well. As for the Blazers, we're playing really well over the last five or six minutes. The offense is finally starting to look good. Hopefully they can keep it going! As Khalil Griffin is in with the slam, he still hasn't missed. And it's 61-53. Amel Wright looking to start a run for Sacramento, and of course he is the guy to lead the charge. Griffin was expecting drive. You can't expect drive with Amel Wright because if he gets any space from three, he's making the shot. 56-61, here's Shaden Sharp with it. Nice pass to Perzingis. Another triple for Chris Stapps. This one a lot more normal than his last one. 58-66, here's Hopkins with it. Shot clock winding down. Hopkins, three, is good! Midnight Hopkins connects from beyond the arc. 61-66, Griffin with it on the drive. Pump fake. Scoot Henderson for three. That one falls. Portland continuing to shoot the three ball well after only making nine in the last game. Springer, of course, had four of them. Mel Wright on the drive. Layup is good. And the Kings are continuing to keep this game close. Deficit still sits at six. Scoot Henderson with it on the drive. Springer gets some space. Open three. That one falls. Another triple for Springer, who's got 18 on 18 shots. Sharp deep three in transition is good. It's a 12-point lead. Portland is red hot from three. Everybody is making shots from beyond the arc. Wright's jumper is good. That's a nice silencer from the Kings to bring the lead within 10. Scoot Henderson with it on the drive now. Henderson blocked at the rim by Apollo Cone. No substitutions here yet for Portland because their offense is playing so well. Out of the gate here in the third quarter. Shaden Sharp with the dunk off the inbound. Good pass by Porzingis. The Blazers have scored 18 points here within the span of four and a half minutes to start the third quarter. Griffin's pass is tipped. Porzingis ends up with it. And Porzingis is there with the layup. Nice play by Chris Stapps, who again has been pretty good, all things considered. 79-65, Prospero. Running floater is good. Lead is back within a dozen. As the Kings are trying to continue to hang around in this one, but Portland's offense has been so good. Springer with the size mismatch. Layup will rattle in. He's got 20 and 13. And the lead is back up to 14 with three to go in the third. Subs finally starting to come into the game. That does not include Amel Wright. He's still in. He hits another three. Wright had 16 in the first half. Already has 12 here in the third. 28 total. Springer, step back is fouled. Don't foul the jump shooter. That was a horrible possession by Portland. He was throwing it up at the end of the shot clock. Ends up making all three. A costly defensive play by Kamari White. Another jumper for Amel Wright. He now leads all scorers with 30. Springer guarded by White. His pass is tipped away and stolen by Jaden Prospero. On the other end, Prospero with it inside. Layup and a foul. Springer was looking to set his feet. Unable to. Prospero misses the three throw, though. Ball don't lie. 
as Shaden Sharp is in for the dunk. He's got 21. Hanyan on the rim doing pull-ups. Got to watch for the tech, though, as he'd eventually come down. 12-point game. Lillard with a dime for Logan. Good ball movement. Nice play by Zay Logan, who's in the double figures with 10. An injured King is on the other side of the floor. That's Prospero as Springer is blocked. But now Prospero is in pain. The Kings have been healthy through the entire playoffs, but here in this series, they've already had three guys get hurt. Amel Wright off the screen, hits the three, 79-90 with 30 to go in the quarter. Here's Griffin with it. Pump fake over to Logan. What a play by Zay. He makes the layup, an acrobatic finish for Zay Logan. And it's 92-79. Wright makes another jumper. He is red hot up to 35 now, 19 in the third. But despite that, the Blazers have added to their lead in this quarter, and they don't look to be done. Seconds left. Lillard on the screen. Jumper from Dame is no good. Springer tries to tip it in. Can't do it in time. But overall, really strong quarter by Portland. They lead 92-81, to despite a huge frame from Amel Wright, who scores 19. The rest of the Kings only get nine, and we move into the fourth. No Prospero yet in the game. They're looking at his hip as Cohn has the mismatch with Shade and Sharp. Layup is good. Lead is within seven. Good start to the fourth here for Sacramento. Portland knows they've got to play their best ball. They cannot afford to lose this one as Griffin has a budgie open for three. It looks like Griffin could have gotten an easy shot inside, but he sees a budgie wide open. He don't miss off the catch. Hopkins gets a three right back, though, for Sacramento, 95-88. Here is Sharp with it, looking for the screen. Tries to get some room, has Griffin on the pick, and pop! Bang! Khalil Griffin for three. 98-91, seven and a half to go. Springer passes out of the shot. Logan's two is good. Say Logan's been really good here in the second half, having another very strong game. Bottom right as Logan misses the dunk. Prospero strained his hip, same injury as Embiid. I think it's going to be something he can play through, but certainly not ideal for Sacramento. As Cone gets it over to Hopkins, Abaji looks to meet him quickly. Hopkins off the screen to Cone. He's going to have to throw one up here with just seconds left. Step back, three ball, and it's an air ball. Great defensive possession there by Portland. They're still up by seven with under seven to go. Logan screen. Henderson drive. Takes it himself with a little rack attack. And the lead is up to nine. Scoot Henderson guarding Prospero, who's back in the game. He gets it to Joel Embiid, who's been quiet. His first points of the entire night. And it's a seven-point game. Here's Darius Springer with it. Has a Baji, throws it up, and it's good. Abaji's made some tough shots here in both of these first two games. As it's a nine-point lead. Wright passes out of the shot. Jumper, no good from Butler. Rebounded by Scoot Henderson. Portland runs the break. Springer in transition. Thinks about the shot, but instead is inside for Logan. Who's in with the donkey now is 16. Blazers back up by double digits. Wright misses the three after his big third quarter. And Mel Wright has zero so far in the fourth. On the other end, Abaji no good, but Springer is there with the putback. 25, 16, and 8 for Springer. He hasn't been the most efficient, but other than that, he's been quite good. Here's Kavori White, guarded by Porzingis. White's three is good. Big shot for the Kings. They bring you within 10. Springer trapped to Porzingis. That one is off the mark. Good defense by Sacramento. Cone with the rebound. Brings it up himself. He gets it over to Pooh Prospero. Hopkins three. That one falls. We're within seven. Griffin was flying right at him, too. Nine-point game now. Embiid should have taken the shot. Instead, he gets it to White. Throws it up. No good. Great defensive possession by the Blazers on the other end. Griffin, open three in transition. Bang! Khalil Griffin with another three, and it's a 12-point lead. Dime from Prospero to Hopkins for the slam. Hopkins dominated early in this game, and now he's starting to really play well again here in the fourth. Scoot Henderson with a wide-open lane. He's in for the dunk. Joel Embiid's injury obviously hurts him as a rim protector, but you can't have Apollo Cone back there because he's guarding Springer. Off the inbound, Griffin switches hands midair. In for the slam. Great play there by Griffin to leave Hopkins in the dust. Hopkins and Griffin, of course, featured in that same 2025 draft class as Embiid misses the three. Griffin with the rebound. Portland running the floor. Time is ticking. Minute and a half left as it's shaded sharp in with the throwdown. He's up to 23. 
And Portland feels comfortable for the first time tonight. They're up by 14. Prospero is blocked. I think Scooter got a hand on it. Springer might have as well. He gets to Sharp with a deep three. Bang! That might be the dagger! 17-point lead as Sacramento has to call timeout. If that wasn't a good enough dagger for you, how about this? Scoot Henderson off the screen for three. Drills it. Springer's 10th assist of the game. He's got a triple-double. If that doesn't suit your fancy, though, how about this? Khalil Griffin has it on the wing looking to drive inside. Griffin inside. Layup. And the foul. And and one. Kona. Called for the foul, and that will do it. Springer dribbles it out. This series is tied at 1. 128-112. A much better Game 2 performance here from Portland. The offense was so much better in this game. I called out Scoot Henderson, Shaden Sharp, and Khalil Griffin to step up. And boy, did all three of them play really well. I wanted one of them to lead us in scoring. They didn't, but it wasn't their fault. Darius Springer at 27, 17, and 10. He played great again. But he shot the ball way more than they did, which is fine. He went 9 for 23, not his most efficient day. But the other three were super efficient. Shaden Sharp went 10 for 12 after going 2 for 13 in the last game. He had 26. Griffin, 8 for 11. Scoot, 8 for 15. Love to see it. These three guys played outstanding today. And if Sharp, Griffin, and Scoot play like this the rest of the way, this team is winning a championship this year. Zay Logan was also quite good. He had 16 off the bench. Brzingis with a double-double at the crazy half-court, not even half-court, three-quarters of the court heave at the end of the first half. Abaji made some nice plays, although he only went two for seven. And other than that, overall, I thought we had a really solid performance. I thought defensively we were a little bit worse probably than the last game. Wright had 38, Hopkins had 34. Both of them were ultra-efficient as well. But everybody else laid an egg. Davion Mitchell was good. He went 3 for 4 from deep. But Jaden Prospero was awful on offense. 4 for 18. Scoot Henderson had him in hell today. Jimmy Butler didn't do much. Apollo Cohn went 1 for 7. Joel Embiid went 1 for 8. So as good as Hopkins and Wright were, their other stars lost them the game, going a combined 6 for 35 between Prospero, Embiid, and Cohn, the other three starters. So as good as the top two guys did, combining for 72, the other three did so bad that they ultimately fall and this series is tied at one. I don't know if I should feel encouraged or discouraged because we've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly from this team. The Kings did take one on the road, so that's probably a win for them, but they also had three guys get injured. So not really sure how to feel about these first two games. We should certainly get more of a conclusion in games three and four, which will be in the next episode. Hope everybody enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Peace out.